Welcome to another edition of Advice to All You Goat Humpers. That little song that I cut off in the middle of it is called Birds in Flight. I don't know who plays it. I like it. A um, little bit of info goes a long way. So here's a little bit of info for you. I, uh, I no longer do a radio show on Spreaker. Um, I'm shifting over to a deal called Blog Talk Radio. Um, there are no archives on Spreaker. Now you can catch some a few archives on uh, YouTube where this is going to go. I will be uh, um, on Blog Talk Radio. I mean, I've not made a secret of it. I, I'm not rich. But I'm also not broke, and I don't have to depend on a radio show to make me money. Um, I'm going to uh, try to see if I can make some money off of YouTube. It seems like everybody else is. So, if you will look down there, when you see this, there is a button that says subscribe. Please do. And I'll try to have more, more uh, vlogs coming out. Uh, more interesting stuff. I have two YouTube channels. One's called Building the Dream and the other one's just this one, my personal uh, YouTube channel. Both of them, I guess, are personal. This is the one that I, I put stuff I care about on. Well, I do it on both of them. Um, I'm a... I'm... My wife, as many of you know that have paid attention to me has stage four cancer but she's they the doctor Buren or Buren Hassan um, let me tell you something God bless him he's a miracle worker I love the man to death he's always cheerful always wants to shake your hand he's got a wife and some a couple of small kids they're moving to Oregon I think Portland, Oregon, he's going to study to be a heart surgeon for two years. Let me tell you something. Dr. Hassan is a superb surgeon already and a wonderful man. And uh, I just love him to death. I wish him and his family all the success in the world. He saved my wife's life. Um, other things going on with me, um, I just, you know, there's a, um, just a second, I, I need to answer that, um, uh, hang on. You've reached the, uh, advice to all you goat humpers hotline, what can I do for you? Um. How'd you get this number? Well, that doesn't tell me a whole lot. What can I do for you, Mr. Epstein? Um, listen, you're a multi-go zillionaire. You ought to have somebody on your payroll work at this better than I can. Um, well, uh, there's a few things I could suggest for you. I know a guy on Facebook named Cletus T. Judd. He did a video called uh, My Cellmate Thinks I'm Sexy. Maybe you ought to watch that and 
he can give you a little help there. I'm sorry you're in a dark place. Oh, you're hiding under your bunk bed. Um, how'd you get a phone anyway? Well, let me tell you something. If, if you can't see me right now, but my friends here on YouTube can, if you take your middle knuckle like and stick it up above, make a fist and stick your middle knuckle up above all the other ones, you can hit yourself all over your face with that if you can stand it. Like, get a bunch of bruises up. Yeah, and then what you do is you tell the guards that you've got the space alien flu. Yeah, you tell them you got abducted and and that uh, you need to see a, a, a doctor because you've got the space alien flu. Yeah, I heard about your lame attempt at suicide. Let me tell you something, son. I categorize you as a goat humper. Yep. Anybody out there molesting preteen and young teen girls? Yeah. I have a cure for you. Yeah, I do. It'd be a little bit permanent, like if you ever do make it to Oklahoma and come see me, I could I could solve your goat humping problem in one fell swoop. You don't need to start crying, you just need to it's called repentance, son. You go ahead and you you first of all you apologize and you apologize to all them girls that are now women you did that with and apologize to God and maybe you'll live through it. I will tell you this much uh, you won't last very long when you make it to actual prison. Yeah, there is one thing I'm going to tell you. Prisoners don't like child molesters, son, and you fall into that category. So like I said, I'd have a cure for you. Nah, I wouldn't castrate you. I just solve all your worldly problems in the blink of an eye. Well, you have a nice day now, and uh, well, I'll tell you, if you can get anybody to smuggle you in, or if you got a cell phone with you that's got, you know, internet capability, yeah, go to YouTube and look up Cletus T. Judd and watch my my cellmate thinks I'm sexy. Yeah, to give you a little inkling in, into what's in store for you, if they don't kill you first. Well, I'm busy right now. I've got to get off here. Nah, I don't like you at all. You need to understand that. I hope you go to hell. But, uh, you have a good day now. Bye. I get some of the dumbest phone calls. I don't hate... I asked him how he got my telephone number and he uh, gave some some rambling little nothing answer that some guy named Farland Huff gave it to him. Yeah, Farland's a friend of mine. Uh, no, Farland ain't no goat humper. He won't tolerate it either. Well, anyway, uh, things going on in life right now. Okay, uh, some of the things I got going on. Um, I got me a new beard cream. Yeah, you stick it in your beard and your mustache, and, and uh, tell you, I, I got me a toothbrush. Yeah, and that's how I put it in there. Make myself smell all wintry green, which uh, I really can't smell anything anyway. I lost my sense of smell a long time ago probably from smelling my own breath but uh my wife seems to think that uh it's okay so you know i value her opinion far more than i value mine but anyway until we meet again on this here vlog just remember i will be posting on facebook and elsewhere that i'm doing a new radio show on blogspot.com and I hope to see you on the radio. Bye-bye. Wait, wait. I'm supposed to play some exit music here. Yeah, right, that right there. I, I, 
Yeah, it's nice. You can probably hear it a little bit in the background. The other thing over there is my air conditioner making racket. Yep. Well, anyway, I hope y'all have a good day today. I do. I love you. I do. God bless you. God bless everybody except goat hunters and child molesters. And I think they all need to just go ahead and die and go on to hell where they belong. Well, see y'all later on the next vlog. Bye-bye.